It's actually January 22nd, the eve of Chinese New Year, the year of the dragon, which is my year. I think that's pretty awesome since I'm in China for my Chinese zodiac year. We're going over to Sunet's dad's house in a little bit for a big feast and some fireworks. Should be fun. But this vlog is actually going to be all about Robbie Thompson and Miss Lauren Stanwyck who came to visit us for two weeks this month. So it's been a busy month in January, went by fast. It was awesome having them here. They really felt like they were living here by the end of it. They got to know the metros, the different districts, and we really got used to like coming home after work and hanging out with them. It was really fun and busy. Throughout their time here, we ate a lot of good food. Sinet and I managed to take them to a variety of restaurants and they had different styles of Chinese food. They had Uyghur food, which is the Muslim food, um, really good noodles and lamb. They had Yunnan food, Sichuan food, Shanghainese food, lots of street food. So they loved it. Even Robert, I was surprised. They were really good about trying everything. I took most of the footage on their first night here and their first day here when everything was new and exciting. And Okay, this is Robert and Lauren's first meal in Shanghai at Ajisan Ramen, a Japanese well, chain. It's chopsticks, it's kind of tough though, you know. But Not bad there, Robbie Tom. I'm sure by day 14 they get much easier. <laughs> Welcome to Shanghai. Hi. So we're here in People's Park, their first full day. We go to Marriage Mart and sell this guy. No, we're gonna or me make an advertisement. For it's Lauren. okay. I'm okay with it. Chinese. I people. like this city. I can stay here as long as I You're gonna love find it. someone to keep me here. We're drinking some uh, warm bubble tea, milk tea, hitting the spot on this uh, little chilly morning. Oh, they're black. <laughs> oh yeah, they're black. Have you the balls? <laughs> so uh, we're in people's <laughs> Surprising. Like, came out of my mouth. <laughs> the game plan for today is to go check out the marriage mart, maybe go down Nanjing Road, go get some fried dumplings for lunch. Mm -hmm. Lots of eating. And then we're going to go to the Science and Technology Museum and one of the best fake markets. Get some goodies. And then dinner. So okay. more on that later. Thanks so much. There's a picture? Aww. I feel like I saw him last time. Should we give him a call? He's a cutie. Yeah, I like him. He makes What's his number? A day? No, 120. Call him up. 1.2 million a year. This guy? Not bad. Jesus. In Chinese. Oh, it's here. We found a husband. Phenomenal. Okay, so you make this after. Uh, just put that much in it. Chili? Chili, right? <laughs> Take your soy sauce and then you pour it in there. Like about that much. And you see your this could get messy for sure. Two chopsticks and just mix it in a little bit. And then this is how you eat it. Pick one up. And it's hot the inside, really so be hot. careful. You don't yeah. want to just put it in your mouth. Both no. inside it. Put one in your spoon like that. Just go like that. And then what you want to do is just bite the top. Bite the whole and then let it cool off for oh, a bit. Yeah. Cool I'm gonna zoom in on that. 
That would have been deadly. <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, soup in it. And all you do is just suck out the soup. Suck it out. And then, and then you eat it. You get the top. Cool. Then, Ready to try? And then you can put the thing. <laughs> the rest of the jump on it. Yeah. So it gets, it dips. And then you can put a little of it into the hole. Yeah. Kind of dumplings like these, are they like pork? Or? Yeah. Alright, so. Excited! Bon appetit! Take a picture of You're dancing! I feel like I should be like a backup dancer. I know. <laughs> yeah, yo! <laughs> this is what we did in the Science and Technology Museum. <laughs> neat that Robert and Lauren got to experience our life here in Shanghai. They were even able to come to my work and experience the craziness of the Korean kindergarten. Robert taught them the phrase noogie time so they were all saying what time is it? Noogie time! And they loved that and uh, went a little crazy with it. Check it out for yourself. <laughs> After that, Robert and Lauren actually ended up going to Beijing for a few days. Robert actually took about two hours of footage during his time here, so hopefully he'll make a blog and tell you more about their time in Beijing. They were there actually with Lauren's aunt and good friend who decided to come to China at the same time, and they are crazy in a good way, of course. Full of energy and just a wild time. Came back with Lauren and Robert a couple days later and we had a really, really good night. We took him out to some Shanghainese and Sichuan food. And then we went over to the riverside to see the Bund and see Lu Jiazui, which is Sunet's favorite area in Shanghai. And we even got to light some lanterns and send them off into the sky. It was really cool and fun. And we were getting really, really excited when we would send them off and uh, people probably thought uh, we were a little bit crazy. Here we are in Pudong. Say hi. hi. We bought some lanterns, hi. paper lanterns. And we're gonna light them up. Woohoo! We just set them off. Yeah. Alright, what do we do? Cross the bun, it looks just like that. Can I let go? Hold the bottom. Okay, got it. Here, you can put I think it. It's gonna go, no? Come on, come on, come on. There it goes, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Oh, no, it's good, it's good. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, Robert. <laughs> Why are you taking so long? Cool. Why are you taking so long? Why are you taking so long? Okay, no, all right. Okay, That's you're not going to say a word. Yeah. Jesus, Robert. So frustrating, Robert. <laughs> Frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are creepy. <laughs> this video is creepy. Uh oh, here we go. Yay! Yay. Lantern uh -oh. number two. Uh -oh. Yes, Robert. Uh -oh. oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yes, yes, yes. It's a little crumpled. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold it. Stop it, Robert. It's <laughs> successfully set off our lanterns we decided to go to Polliner's which is a German beer garden and they happen to have a live Filipino band playing some awesome music and we were loving it to say the least <laughs>
second weekend that they were here, we did a little bit more sightseeing, checked out some museum, then we spent a really nice afternoon at this cozy um, tea shop, did some hookah. We had dim sum on Sunday, which was my first time having dim sum too. We all tried chicken feet. Yay for us. Yeah, basically, we spent every evening with them, taking them out to restaurants, and even just sometimes hanging out in our apartment, having a good time, playing cards, making food. And uh, Robert and Lauren did a lot of stuff with Dale and Mary Beth um, during the days and had some crazy stories about that. Dale and Mary Beth had some really interesting massage experiences. I think they got a massage every day. At one point invited in prostitutes inside their room, inside their hotel room in Shanghai, which they had mistaken for their massage therapist. Pretty hilarious story. Of course, it would happen to them. They got it figured out though. We also celebrated Sinet's birthday at an upscale French restaurant with delicious food, iPad menus, and bicycle bar stools. Pretty sweet. So yeah, we got to show them all of our favorite parts of the city and they got to really experience Shanghai and they actually really liked it. Learned a lot about Shanghai. They learned how to properly eat fried dumplings. They learned that you have to push your way into metro if you want to actually get on. And Robert, I think, hopefully learned that it's important to have your passport on you, especially when you're flying, even if it's a domestic flight. It was really good to see Robert and Lauren, and we're really, really pumped to have next visitors. Christine is coming in March, and my parents booked their ticket. Holler. They'll be coming in April. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye, love.